சும்மா லைவ் வருதான் பாருங்கள் good morning to all um, today we are going to see about the 5g communication systems what are the evolution happened over the 5g communication 5th gen communication up to and where what is going to upgraded in these systems actually uh, 5g communication is already exploited in the particular uh, our electronic communication technology and what is the upgradation we can do in these uh, systems that all we going to be uh, analyzing okay so initial onwards we will be seeing uh, like 1g 2g 3g and 4g and we will be going on to the 5g and in 5g what are the development ideologies has been built and what is the development is going on and where it can be applied and where it can be uh, reused and uh, uh, how the user end uh, it, it is a need like uh, the requirements of 5g what is why it is required all the things we going to discuss okay so Uh, myself rajkumar uh, i am from bandex solution uh, senior engineer working as senior engineer so this session is uh, in association with dmi engineering college uh, with the association of department of ece um, the dmi engineering college is in chennai located in chennai uh, they have a span of experience about uh, 20 to 25 years okay so with them we are collaborating with this seminar okay webinar okay so uh, first of all we'll go about uh, what is the communication systems uh, what now happen and after that we'll start with the uh, uh, what is 5g and all okay uh, so initially we'll be having a technology fields actually in this slide i am applying what are the technology fields have been uh, deployed in the overall uh, overall uh, technology trends okay i have uh, applied in this one uh, in this we are doing it is a, it's just a iso layer osa layer so in this uh, what are the uh, technologies and uh, domains and the uh, softwares and uh, application oriented uh, requirements have been satisfied with what are the technologies in major i have listed out down so if you are taking the application layer majorly it is uh, embedded oriented and java dot net and uh, likewise oriented because they all are in uh, like user and uh, needs okay so required based on that requirements has been placed in the application layer if you are going with a uh, transportation and networking layer um internet layer uh, networking layer actually it is going with the ns2 communications and networking and all okay so today we are going to discuss about the uh, signal processing layer which is the last layer uh, which is the communication medium between two uh, device defined systems like if it might be devices or a system okay so in this uh, if you are taking means uh, it is having two pr- major ideologies one is uh, called uh, uh, communication uh, data link layer which is uh, manipulation of data and conversion of data uh, and conversion of data into from original uh, data into like signals and conversion of uh, signals into uh, antenna distributable uh, uh, modulation schemes and uh, signal distributing circuits and it should be transmitted over and it should be receptor and again it should be decoded so this process of execution is whole happening in the data link layer and the physical layer you all might be here so in this layer only today session is also going to be uh, uh, research ideologies and all we are going to talk about also okay so we'll go to the next slide um here here i have explained uh, if you might be asking dsp is only for uh, uh, communication systems not no it is not for the communication system setup it is having a vast areas like audio signal image processing video processing but audio image and video is by, all are based on user and application oriented but communication and antenna design is for um, 
it's like a, a user like a, it is a overall network connectivity device to device connections based on that requirements okay so so today's content will be like uh, tech evolution and uh, what you mean by uh, 1g 2g 3g 4g and all and after that what you mean by 4g lte and ofdm and memo uh, memo with beam farming and, uh, and finally with the counter networks uh, which is a 5g uh, majorly the 5g evolves in the ofdm memo beam farming and the cr networks okay counter networks this is the content of the session today so we gonna discuss okay so first of all, uh, before going into the wireless communication, we ought to know the, what is the communication. So communication started uh, by the year of 1850s itself and it is going to be uh, wireless communication by the year of 90, uh, 900s, okay, uh, 1900s. So on that period, uh, antenna has been enabled and uh, initially we have been transmitted by one antenna to wireless to another device, okay. So nowadays it is 100 years has been developed and it is going through up to that a broadcast can be developed up to uh, worldwide anywhere we can send the data with the wireless communication so based on that i have placed the communication channel medium central one is guided medium and is unguided mainly uh, wireless and one uh, wired okay so wired communication we are taking uh, it is having twisted pair coaxial cable and optical fiber uh, so all the communications in that uh, optical fiber makes up to uh, 1 GB per second uh, for a unique user and 1 terabyte also it can be transmitting okay likewise we are taking coaxial cable it is a uh, majorly 1 GB transmission is there but for a per particular user it can transmit up to 50 to 100 Mbps uh, in a particular time of period and twisted pair is also there um, so it is generating only minimum data right like uh, KV, KB like a uh, uh, majorly 1 MB per, per second is a uh, higher uh, level of uh, data transmission and if you are taking unguided wireless communication satellite communication is there and after that uh, broadcast radio whatever the broadcast transmissions are happening that will be there and there is still a microwave communication which is happening between the base stations and uh, happening between the satellite and the uh, uh, base station that now it is there okay so what do you mean by 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G? So this one we have discussed before going to the 5G. Why 5G is required if you want to know means we all know about the 1G requirements and 2G requirements, what it is satisfied, what it has done for the world. So then only we can identify what is the requirement in the 5G and we can discuss it and we can give some sort of solutions on that. Okay. So we ought to know this one. So um you might hear about hear about this 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G development. Okay. So first of all, 1G means uh, what it has been applied means 1G communication is applied majorly for broadcast communication. The information should be passed from the one user. It might be a government or any organization. So that organization can pass the information to all the users. That is a 1G communication ideology. If you are considering 1G, 1G communication, a uh, government want to send a ad, urgent information. Otherwise, it want to broadcast a radio channel. Uh, All India Radio is there. So likewise, if you want to broadcast a radio channel, otherwise it want want to broadcast a TV channel like Doordarshan so that like communications all are broadcast so it want to send some information to a broadcast with a wide area of members okay so that is called 1G communication uh, so 1G communication is available till now also so most of the people are uh, thinking like uh, 1G communication is not there but 1G communication is available so 1G communication examples I have to exactly tell means FM radio and uh, uh, walkie talkie is there walkie talkie is also like 1g communication initially nowadays it changed but initial on initial stages it was in 1g communication because a policeman can transmit here info his information and it can be received by the another information so that only the passcode will be used as over because the one person is speaking in the particular network means another person should speak so it's a because it's a broadcast communication on the sp space we have to give that to the another user also so on that basis only they will be using the specifying the word as over okay so for that, so these and all all the things have been evolved in the 1g communication so uh, on the 1G communication is available uh, like uh, 1980s to 1990s period. Uh, on 1980s period, the requirement of multicast is uh, 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 it's needed. Okay, because uh, the communication has been developed and uh, uh, plus the 
by wireless com communication happening between the uh, like uh, computers also so device to device communications also came into account so on the situation people want to communicate with one person which wherever he is available he is might be available in a remote distance also so we want to make the communication so what is the next priority happened is 2g so so 2g uh, so when they come to uh, come to the requirement of multicasting so what happened is the 1g is broadcast so here it is a uh, user to user communication so one user how to speak and one user how to receive and you have to again speak and you have to again receive so uh, so that that space should be created so what happened means uh, here only we started to evolve with the communication like uh, 2g okay so this is the application of 2g a major ideology so after 2g development uh, after 10 years of period like 7 to 8 years of period on that situation uh, CDMA also came the same time period itself but uh, uh, like CDMA means you are you might hear the CDMA as a 3G okay so I will discuss about the uh, CDMA later so so if you are taking the 2G uh, on the 2G period itself we want advantage advancement like uh, uh, we want advancement like uh, internet of internet services okay because why internet services needed means when that situation uh, we will be having mobile phones on the mobile phones we can send some information to one in one user to another inform with the message okay so otherwise we can communicate with voice call but in this period only the server to mobile communication started like uh, one one server head will be there like lead node so that node will have all the information so we have to we want any information from the server means we can request and you can get the information so this is called internet services so this then technology started to develop so on that period only the internet services which is called as 2.5g is developed okay this 2.5g is called gprs okay so the gprs has been developed and it is reached up to edge technology like 2.9g 2.9g I might hear not hear about 2.5 and 2.9 g 2.5 g is called uh, uh, gprs and 2.9 is called edge technology and uh, uh, in this era these developments happen in the same situation cdma also came okay cdma means you might hear about tata indicom okay uh, when the when the futures of 2g is there tata has developed tata indicom also okay so likewise uh, uh, Reliance also was in the uh, uh, was available in the market. Both are using the CDMA networks. Okay, uh, what is the advantage of uh, CDMA means uh, it can transmit for a long range. Okay, uh, you might hear the Reliance introduced uh, at the year of 2004, I think so. Uh, they introduced uh, 500 rupees one phone. Okay, so we can communicate uh, with another user but we have to use a separate sim cards okay for them we have to buy so that is called cdma networks have been developed in the tata indicom and the reliance initial period of time but uh, unfortunately cdma has failed on that period and tdma take over the whole market because a uh, large of large number of users are recommended in the 2g networks because uh, the thing is uh, when you are having a cdma mobile phone we have to buy a separate phone for that one but if you are using a 2g network the phones will be same you can use any phones and you can you have to buy the sim card and you have to utilize it okay that's a requirement so uh, this era is happened on that period of time so after that the 3g came into account again uh, like with wcdma which is called uh, wideband cdma coder division multiple access so which makes that uh, internet uh, availability to be faster like uh, uh, what happened in this 3g era means what is happened in the internet which is a uh, giving edge technology is 2.9 g2 uh, it can't able to reach to 256 kbps for a particular user at a time it can reach maximally like uh, 60 kbps at a time for a user but overall transmission like 256 kbps so what is the problem here means when you are taking the situation uh, they can't be able to transmit because the time slot allocation based uh, concepts are uh, available so the time slot doesn't allow i will explain you in the slide upcoming slide how the time slot have been manipulated uh, so it, it is doesn't have the data rate much so on that period the cdma came cdma can transmit up to 1 mbp per second major for your particular user so which makes a multi multi person gaming and uh, uh, video calling and uh, video transmission youtube and these and all came into account in a much more faster manner in these situations okay so 3g makes that advancement and 4g why 4g is required after 3g you can uh, 
you you may you, there is no application development the requirement is only uh, internet speed okay uh, so if, if the requirement is only the internet speed so internet speed should be made higher so the 4g application scheme so the 4g is based on uh, ofdm orthogonal frequency division multiplexing uh, moreover uh, uh, you can uh, you can uh, gone through this information uh, at the end of the like a final year OFDM, OFDM you go on, don't go the inf uh, don't have the information because the major technology development nowadays happening in the all with the OFDM only so we will be discussing with OFDM also and after that we will be going with the country networks uh, and the millimeter wave applications and uh, uh, we will be having uh, uh, how the antenna supporting in these uh, uh, 5G communications and uh, what are the other concepts are there we will be discussing on okay okay first of all fdma frequency division multiplexing here the frequency slots have been maintained like if you are considering one fm station should be running in a one particular frequency that particular frequency will be allocated by the particular fm station so the particular fm station can transmit the information to the particular user whoever tuning that particular frequency okay so that is called fdma which is a unique spectrum will be allocated to a particular unique uh, unique uh, user that unique user can broadcast any information to any person which have been uh, synchronized with their frequency okay so this is the first thing and after the tdma so here the requirement i already spoke uh, user to user communication one single person to single person communication have been started so what is the con concept here happens means uh, so we man uh, the concept of fdma has been manipulated here so what is available in the fdma this frequency slotted it's now frequency slotted with the time slotted okay you can see that one frequency is already there the frequency is varied with uh, different colors like yellow blue and uh, um, uh, another pink color so with this color uh, if you are seeing the le the left side like uh, uh, x direction if you are seeing means you can see that particular x direction is having uh, time slots okay so the time slots makes that user which user have to communicate in this particular time slot and time period if i am giving out information to on user i have to give the particular id of the particular user who i am communicating with that i have to speak, give the information also these both the information will be take as a bulge account this information will be pointed out to the particular user so that is called time slotting based communication so here uh, this is the time is the main ideology of tuning to transmit the data okay so next is called cdm which is code division multiplexers so, so in this considering means the same uh, things like uh, frequency is divided and the time is not divided but here the time is not divided but what is divided means power is divided you can see the user coded waveforms will be placed built over the power okay so what is the particular power range of 1 db is there for allocation of particular user means the next user will be allocated to another power area power range okay so what is making means here multiple port sequence will be added over by over okay okay over by over it will be placed on so this makes these um, so we can place multiple users here also plus we can enter the data right also because we are not scheduling the frequency so frequencies are highly allocated to a particular user itself but we are scheduling the power so what makes it means we can enhance rich data data rate because uh, always the signal is in per inversely proportional to the frequency okay because so, so it is enhancing the data rate so we can reach a maximum data rate to the particular user whoever we are transmitting so this makes this technology to be wider and enhanced so next we have to go to 4g we have scheduled all the things like first thing we are scheduled with frequency next to the time next with power so then what we can schedule now there is no scheduling can be done with this no scheduling can be done with this uh, three because three options only available in the environment then how the 5g 4g can come that's a question mark okay so that has been taken into account with that so what is happening means the technology gets reversed now so what is happened in the fdma the same technology is taken into account here so we are also we are scheduling with the frequency time frequency slotting with that small frequency slots are there okay why 
uh, how can you can ask how can you make a uh, small frequency slot what's the problem with the uh, small frequency slot is we even whenever you are placing a frequency you have to place a guard band okay that is a mandatory rule because when i'm speaking in a one spectrum i can't able to i shouldn't make any disturbance to the nearby spectrum that is a minimum requirement of a signal transmission or communication okay so then if you are considering this technology it will make sure with the disturbance with the nearby company nearby signals also nearby frequency channels also it will make a sure the damn disturbance to the nearby channels also which make this communication to be complex okay so that shouldn't be happen also but ofdm is placed so why but fdma only scheduled with the multiple small small spectrums so here what they are giving as an idea only means they are tuning the, they are phase shifting the signal so ofdm orthogonal t so they are providing as orthogonality bend between the nearby spectrums like one signal is there means next signal will be 90 90 degree ortho orthogonally tuned you can see this 90 degree orthogonal shifting under in the upcoming slide i will explain you in depth okay so while doing that uh, 90 degree orthogonality automatically we can send one information into one signal and another information on another signal so both can be captured plus it, it won't make a major disturbance also because both are phase shifted while receive reception also we will identify the phase shifted signal which is the phase shifted signal which is the time period of reception both the things will be taken into account so with that we are identifying the original signal means which makes the original signal to be uh, realizable and relaxable and it can get the exact information as possible okay so that this is the exact ideology of ofdm so we'll be discussing in this depth with the upcoming slides okay so uh, before going to ofdm i'll explain you uh, so okay we have discussed about up to 4g next we have to go to 5g uh, about 4g also what is the requirement you may ask okay so nowadays 4g came and after that lte came uh, because the 4G and LT is different, you might hear, okay, uh, 4G, is, uh, 4G is different, LT is different, okay, because uh, uh, LT is called, uh, uh, LT for, in 4G, one of the technology is LT, okay, LT is long term evolution, you might hear, uh, you, are, you all are using, we are all are using 4G smartphones in uh, majorly, uh, in India, okay, in India also, in worldwide also, all the phones majorly are using this, uh, 4G only. Uh, because uh, in India, Jio and Jio uh, made a major change in 4G. Then when they came itself, they, they have given a big, big richer, richer plans and they, they placed the 4G in a wider manner. So why 4G and LTE should be mingled? That is one concept. Okay, because LTE, what is the ideology of LTE? Means long term evolution. Uh, it is making uh, like uh, multiple ideologies. Okay, so what is the multiple ideologies? I'll tell you once. Uh, for LTE makes uh, multiple users to be integrated with high data rate plus it, it makes future communication different like if we are considering in future uh, all the devices should be communicated and uh, uh, future uh, all the uh, uh, TV should be communicated with the network mobile network because nowadays TV communications are now happening with the satellite so in future all the tv communication nowadays we are using that 4g phones with a tv now like youtube we are using uh, otherwise we are considering like geo tv is providing all the tv channels variety of tv channels these like concepts can be appropriately placed over smart tvs all the things should be started in the 4g era itself that is a requirement of the lte okay so this lte uh, should be advanced in the 5g okay so yeah, like uh, if I, lte is a basement for 5g okay consider that like okay so the so based on that if you're considering means what will be the 5g's expectations and all you got to think so first of all 5g's expectation is uh, uh, overall iot uh, distribution okay all the things should be connected with the internet uh, even it is a uh, um, even it is a uh, one uh, like uh, one small bulb also otherwise it is a, like a ball whatever it is you want to connect in iot you should connect it that is a requirement it might be like a one chair or it might be on like a uh, one uh, uh, one one you, you want to connect your pen also or, or anyways ball anything if you are to place your bats for sportsman if you want to place their bat reading should be taken in the iot so all the things should be connected to the particular iot in a particular uh, in instant also so instant time with the uh, more precious information also that is called of ideology of 5g 
so for requirement of 5g is this means so based on that only uh, these technology should be developed in the 4g also so that is so these requirements are start, started to start again 4g so i will explain the 5g what is the requirement in elaborate uh, first of all 5g requirements uh, minimum 10 gp data rate they are planning okay like they are planning for a region uh, if you are having a 100 mobile phones they will be planning for 10 gp data rate in a particular second so what makes means your phone may receive a uh, you might hear seen samsung s10 actually in the first slide uh, initial slide of a uh, opening slide uh, i have placed the samsung s10 which is 5g mobile they it is 5g mobile it, it can download 75 mbps to 100 mbps with multi connected devices not in a single time uh, not like not in a, a single device as a single device it can connect 75 to 100 mbps in even a thousand economic devices are there it can receive up to 75 to 100 mbps at a time so that much data rate speed can be uh, attained i also distributed that only the uh, 100 mbp 100 mbits per second whenever ultra ultra capacity should be increased likewise multiple devices 10 to 100 devices for a home okay so what is required what's that thing means each and every home will communicate like uh, if you are taking on uh, one uh, ac is there in your home and the tv is there in your home both the devices will communicate if you are turning on your fan automatically ac will reduce the uh, uh, increase the hot point okay it can schedule you can schedule it when you are entering your home automatically you want to turn on this light and you want to turn on this room and that uh, this channel to be running uh, all the requirements can be scheduled iot will make all the things things to be possible but what is the problem in spectrum allocation you uh, so uh, so uh, what i am trying to tell means all the things uh, all the technology has been making with the spectrum allocation so the problem uh, what is happening over the all technology means only the spectrum allocation makes the problem why am i doing spectrum allocation means you can see from 1g onwards 5g why we want to use because 1g itself we can transmit the tv with 6 mbps data right you consider one, uh, one channel like uh, I will consider like uh, 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 any any something TVs like I am considering Sun TV or something Vijay TV or something okay like a Star TV anything okay so that TV I am considering means this TV has to be uh, transmitting 6 Mbps and standard data rate for broadcasting but now also we are receiving 6 Mbps in your YouTube channel while running majorly okay so why we have to struggle in this period we are already received the 6 mbps on the time same time period we can receive but nowadays also we are trying to receive 6 mbps so the problem is spectrum allocation so nowadays the need is user oriented individual user oriented plus the spectrum should be allocated highly so if you are using the 5 fdma technology nowadays with 4g or 5g it is possible to allocate fdma can use this related with the lte also the solution is possible but the problem here is persist is the the communication uh, when you are giving 1g technology with the fdma here means you can't be able to establish the spectrum range okay if there is only 0 to 3 gigahertz for uh, a local area multipath communication okay so this makes a network com network uh, uh, network in a complex manner because uh, there is no spectrum there is no bandwidth so th this makes a uh, uh, processing of signal to be complex okay so these things we have to analyze in a uh, proper manner with the future technology okay so so that only the 5g having multiple ideologies i will discuss with us soon okay uh, first of all 5g what are the ideologies i have distributed majorly like hospitality uh, smart homes and the virtual reality and uh, smart smart device smartphones and smart education systems uh, smart energy health care you you might be uh, you might be engaging these all the systems nowadays in your mobile phones okay uh, like uh, nowadays already it's in a corona uh, covid 90 issue is going on so already we have engaged in the online platform we are also tra tra uh, educating you in a webinar series with the online platform those this is the ideology is going to happen okay so this is like a demonstrations happening so these uh, 2020 what is happening nowadays this is going to the era change okay so next 10 years or 20 years whatever it is 
this is the era change like uh, this is another generation like uh, we are in a fifth generation we already started you just consider that like that like era generation has been started for that only i shown this slide so future communication or the dam communication uh, will happen in a one medium which is called mobile communication platform there won't be any satellite there won't be any satellite communication with this antenna so that like in nothing requirements won't be there. there there that is not all needed if we can communicate whether it's a wi-fi or it's a 2g uh, whatever your requirements 1g whatever requirements all will be manipulated to 4g and 5g technologies as a solution okay that is the ideology of the 5g technology okay so i have to show, i am showing with the five spectrum i use the issues okay because uh, whatever the communication systems are happening you can see from zero hertz to majorly with 3 gigahertz okay so in this slide they have shown 3 3 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz it's not 300 gigahertz 3 gigahertz okay just uh, really mentioned uh, above 3 gigahertz why i'm not considering it it can consider up to 6 gigahertz okay but the prop pro what's the problem exactly means uh, you can't be able to transmit Actually, you can can't able to transmit much more data rate to the user. Okay, that is a problem because three gigahertz only is allocatable. Uh, I will show the, with the proofs. Okay, why three gigahertz only allocated? Uh, why this person is telling three gigahertz, three gigahertz why? So that one I will explain you next. Okay, so uh, this is the tech evolution what we have discussed like TDMA, GPR, such technologies happening to win 5G and the CDMA is already established in the 2.5G itself and after the WCDMA is established in 3G and after that which is enabled with the HSPA HSPA means H symbol you will be using the mobile phones while using the 3G phones and uh, you might see in this one and after that 4G which is uh, 4G development is going on plus WiMAX is also in the 4G but WiMAX is not highly used I will explain the WiMAX also uh, what do you mean by WiMAX means uh, uh, wireless maximum fidelity so what's the ideology means it's the engagement of 5G technology to a overall large area of platform uh, like an IT company otherwise large area of spectrum large area of regions are there means we can make a uh, single transmittable region because Wi-Fi if I considering means it's for a particular region of level uh, which is maintaining the data rate transmission but it won't transmit the data rate for multiple regions like if you are considering first floor is there means second floor won't be receiving the data right okay so that's the concept of uh, wi-fi so wimax will make the concept of replicating overall transmission for a particular region with the particular transmitter transceivers okay so there is a concept of wimax so lte and lte advancement is there so uh, we'll be discussing on this upcoming slides okay so this is a spectrum allocation i want to show the spectrum allocation because uh, band uh, why i am showing this one means you can see uh, whatever the frequency is there uh, 824 to uh, 999 and, 949 and uh, 869 to 894 which is called wcdma which is 3g and uh, next is gsm which is 2g and uh, again gsm 2g again wcdma 3g again wcdma gsm 3g Again, SCDMA, SCDMA LTE is also uh, 3G and 4G is there also. Uh, but nowadays in India, it is not used for the 4G, it is only used for 3G. And SCDMA and the TDLT, FDDLT, TDLT, which is making the frequency transmission for 4G nowadays in India. Okay. So after that, Wi Fi, Wi Fi having multiple spectrum ranges allocations like. Uh, um, like 2.4 gigahertz and 3.6 gigahertz and 5.2 gigahertz and 5.9 gigahertz but nowadays in india they are, we are using only 2.4 gigahertz in future it might be using started to use 5.2 gigahertz in the future okay that is the right next plan of the wi-fi transmission because the spectrum allocation is already problematic because we can connect at a time five devices moreover when you are connecting above more three or four devices in a single wi-fi itself it is a problematic scenario so on the scenario we we, we try to allocate so we are initializing new spectrum allocations also in the WLAN with the uh, uh, next upcoming frequencies also distributed. Okay, so after that, WiMAX is there. WiMAX large range range of frequency is considered, and majorly 5.2 gigahertz also is uh, used nowadays in WiMAX. The research is going on WiMAX at 5.2 gigahertz. Okay, so after that, if you want to consider, um, okay. That's that that's the accommodations majorly available after that you can consider gps 1.6 gigahertz and 1g communication moreover happening between majorly within 0 megahertz to 
seven hundred to eight hundred megahertz. After that, two G communication is there, nine hundred megahertz, and after that, three G communication, one thousand eight hundred megahertz, and to Wi-Fi two point four gigahertz, four uh, G communication two point three gigahertz. This like communication is there. So whatever communication frequency you are seeing, all are based on zero to three gigahertz range. Okay, this is the uh, uh, this is the thing we want to consider. So frequency is not available. That is a major ideology. For that only, all the development is happening. This thing you want to clearly notify, then only you can think why the five G is required. Okay, uh, okay. So this is uh, a uh, map uh, which is received under two thousand fifteen. I didn't update it. Uh, um, uh, so which is initially when the four G enabled under situation, what is a map is there? Okay, well, on the initialization of four G, I have placed this map. So this map. Uh, uh, having the ideology about where and all 4G deployed and 2G de deployment is pending, 3G deployment is pending. If you see, uh, we can get the information. What are the uh, grown up countries and uh, uh, growing up countries? Okay, you can see that uh, all the grown countries having availed with 4G communication. And uh, if you are seeing 3G communication is available, like uh, African countries are available with 3G communication and 2G communication within Africa also some of the countries. Have been enabled with only 2G. Okay, uh, some of the countries are uh, enabled with uh, 3G also. Okay, okay. OFDM. Uh, uh, last session also considered uh, OFDM communication only. So today also I'll explain. Uh, OFDM is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, uh, which makes uh, uh, data tra transmission to be enhanced. Okay. So we can transmit much more data rate. Right? That is a major ideology. So here uh, uh, I'll I'll show how OFDM works. So OFDM uh, actually we are manipulating the overall data into a small small packets like uh, the, uh, multiple multiple frequencies band uh, spectrum uh, should be uh, transmitting the data. Like we are not sending the data in a bulge. Okay, we are separating into small 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 points and with that uh, small small packets we are transmitting in one by one channels. Okay. That is called uh, OFDM ideology. Okay, so that is shown in this one. If you are seeing the truck is having overall load of data, uh, if if a, the particular truck is lost, like if it is damaged, it means the overall data will be damaged. Okay, but if you are taking the small small trucks at the right side, if one packet is lost also, it won't affect the another packet. Okay, so it it will it will receive. Okay, it won't make the problematic to the another packet. So the data transmission won't be a uh, uh stacking on like uh, it won't be like a uh, disturbed the disturb on so it will receive the data surely okay damn sure so here the ofdm uh, uh what's the difference between the fdma and ofdm is shown if you're considering the fdma the guard bands will be fixed okay there will be a guard band and uh, if you're considering the ofdm there won't be a guard band like only 90 degree phase shift will be there the 90 degree phase shift you can see the uh, black color line okay that black color line in the center if you are seeing the 90 degree phase shift it is providing like if it is available in the 90 degree next signal will be available in the next 90 degree okay so what it makes means the original signal will be always phase shifted to 90 degree when the reception is happening also the signal receiver also will expect the 90 degree phase shifted signal only okay so what makes means uh, even the signals have been uh, interpolated like inter inter correlated like it is correlating with each other signals also it with the time slots also it won't make any presence or any problems to the another signal okay that is the ideology of OFDM so what is happening here that data rate is enhanced bandwidth also is decreased okay so that is a major ideology so how the OFDM is distributing the signal how the phase shift is done, done and how the multiple signals have been collaborated and sent that is available so if you are seeing the first signal it is available with the same time period and the second signal at same time period with multiple uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, signal uh, uh, signal uh, frequency uh, so frequency is increased and uh, the time period is uh, frequency is increased uh, so the particular signal can send the high data rate also likewise it can receive the data in a efficient manner also like this another frequency the signal another signal is taken into account okay so uh, if you consider whatever signal propagation is happening multipath communication will be there so due to multipath communication uh, actually in channel uh, estimation channel will be there the channel will be the transmission whatever we are sending the channel will make a 
uh, some changes in the particular signal because the channel will multiply because whatever the signal we are sending in a particular frequency the channel will make a external manipulation and so it will receive because we, while we are sending the channel will be manipulating like multiplying the original signal so it will manipulate and receive a, another signal which is a lossy signal with uh, changed we, we can't able to estimate what is the signal available and received also so there is a problem between the transmitter and receiver this is called fading so these fadings happen with multi multipath fadings are happening with Rayleigh fading uh, which is a uh, uh, which is in a non line of sight region Rayleigh fading will happen in a non line of sight region Russian fading if you are considering it is happening in a line of sight re region which which means uh, when a Russian fading is happening like uh, uh, when satellite and a dish, dish is communicating, Christian fading will happen. Okay, so if you are considering your mobile phone and base station, like base station and uh, dish antenna is communicating, so automatically our mobile phone and uh, base station won't communicate in a direct path. Okay, so it, the particular path will send the information to it will struck upon the multiple buildings, multiple trees, multiple. Uh, uh, multiple obstacles like height, height, high bridges, also all the obstacles will be there up, uh, after uh, continues to travel to reach our mobile. Okay, so that is happening with the multipath communication systems. So this is a thing he said applied here also. When you are doing the multipath communication, when you are using a OFDM also, what is the problem will happen means due to multipath communication, the multiple spectrum you are transmitting already. So what it will make means multipath communication even more complex. Okay, that is a problem. Okay, so these and also we also rectify that also will be discussed on the next slide. I will tell you because if you are seeing the same one signal is coming in a straight line of path and another signal is coming in a multiple path side so it is manipulating it won't be received to the directly to the car if you are considering here okay if you are in a car it won't receive the car directly so what makes this one so this is the delay so it makes a line of sight signal to be received first other signal should be received secondary or late okay so this makes the signal to be delayed these things we have to address okay first of all okay so so due to this the signal first direct signal which receive the first time period in the same time period the reflected signal one and last up to last reflected signal multiple reflected signals will be there so due to this all the reflected signals all the signals will change the time period which makes the signal reception are not happening in a synchronized manner so due to the signal change over these signals estimations to be done properly so for that guard interval will be placed so what is the guard interval concept means whatever the signal is transmitted and uh, on the reception side a guard interval time period there is won't be any data usable so that data is not a required data that like it will be sent okay these guard interval data we will remove it at the receiver side which makes the receiver to be estimating the original data as possible okay so that is called the guard interval ideology so guard interval will be placed in the OFDM okay so here the guard interval is shown whether other second reflection signal if you are seeing the second reflected path like on tree it is hitting and it is reaching to the particular car also it won't be a problem so we are using a guard interval which makes the signal to be eliminated uh, whatever it is received if it is received as in a faster manner also if it is slower manner also card interval will be removed so we can expect the signal original signal as applicable as we sent okay so this is a pro this is a typical uh, uh ofdm diagram like uh, uh, this is not a finalized OFDM diagram this is like a uh, uh, model like this model can be elaborately changed okay with the multiple changes you can do uh, uh, so originally the input data whatever it's voice or video or audio uh, whatever data data is there that will be modulated and it will be transmitted to IFFT. IFFT means uh, inverse fast Fourier transformation so with that like serial to parallel conversion will be done so for IFFT processing and after that uh, IFFT will be done as a cycle prefix will be inserted okay cycle prefix uh, means uh, uh, whatever the signals are transmitted at the signal last 25 percentage majorly signal will be boosted to the front okay that is called cyclic prefix uh, uh, which means uh, uh, if i am sending one signal as high so ha is there means last 25 percentage like i is placed in the front but the high high is also sent like with i okay it's here the guard interval is maintained with the cyclic prefixing okay that is called the uh, high so high in that i is last also it won't make the message with the high okay so that is a concept of cyclic prefacing 
so we will be making a last signal to be placed in the front okay we will try to make a equalization with the guard interval for that cyclic prefix to be applied okay so this is uh, what i have discussed earlier the ift will be done with the original signal and it will transmit it and it will receive it and again f of t will be done and it will be decoded to generate a original signal okay data so next we will be seeing about 4g lte communication okay so what do you mean by 4g lte long term evolution okay long term evolution means what are the ideologies i have discussed first of all so the lte is enhancing the data rate with multi carrier aggregation whenever a user is available in a particular region uh, there you consider 100 carriers are there we consider just consider so on that situation only 50 carrier is used okay consider so what the lte will do means another 50 carriers are unused on that particular time period so what the lte will do is this 50 carriers will be allocated to the original 50 users so what will happen now what will happen so the data rate will be doubled okay so previous technologies won't do that one they won't allocate a uh, unwanted carrier to another user so lte uh, plan to apply multiple carriers to the multiple user based on the requirement on the particular time period so carrier aggregation is happening with multiple frequencies why i am telling this one is a major ideology means you might be initially con con contacting a person with 1 mhz to 1.1 mhz uh, and the LTE will aggregate to place at 2.5 MHz to 2.6 MHz the new carrier also. So both the carriers should be synchronized at a time. So that is a problematic situation. You can get it now. So it is a problematic. So both signal and frequencies you have synchronized to transmit the data. So you want to enhance the data also. So this is called LTE. So LTE is managing that one. So LTE ideology and it manipulates the data right also. It is trying to increase the data right also. Okay, so that is the ideology of LTE. Okay. So so LTE having much more other ideas also like uh, MIMO, multiple input, multiple and output, uh, which is available in the 5G ideology. Uh, likewise, small cell range expansion like uh, Wi-Fi based. Whenever the LTE is there, LTE will be connected with the Wi-Fi also. Wherever the Wi-Fi is there, it will try to connect with Wi-Fi. Okay, that is the ideology of LTE. So LTE uh, can connect with multiple different frequency formats and different frequency devices okay uh, so that is the idea of lte so lte will increase the data rate uh, actually uh, this is a um, these slides i have placed from the uh, qualcomm like uh, qualcomm is the leading developer uh, for all the mobile chip phone chips and uh, modems are made by qualcomm only okay so qualcomm and qualcomm statistics place that uh, single carriers can make only 10 megahertz but multiple carriers, two carriers which are considering up to 20 MHz data rate. So user experience will improve by double surely that like they are giving the uh, facts. Okay. So what, what they have identified with the testing, they have placed over the uh, over their website. You can go and check it also. So LTE, what is the plan? LTE is now I already told Wi-Fi is also aggregated with LTE. So likewise, in future, LTE is planning to aggregate 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G. And uh, uh, whatever these available frequencies can be used with LTE, okay? Because when uh, 1G is not required, because LTE is replacing that one, so 1G is not required. On that scenario, the ultimately the LTE will grab this frequency. So they are planning to grab, but it is not happening till now. Nowadays also uh, allocation is happened happening with the government regulation only. So uh, in 5G, these things gonna be happen. I will explain that in elaborate next slides, upcoming slides. So you can see the allocation frequencies and um, Japan and different different countries. Okay, so I have shown this one and what are the frequency bandwidth allocated and what is a uh, like a, a channel bandwidth is allocated uh, and 3GPP release like a 3GPP version. What is the version of uh, uh, release they are using? Signal is uh, available and which is 3G means uh, like 3G uh, 3G development team only is developing the 4G algorithm also, okay. So it's called 3G, 3G partnership project. It is called, okay. So they only like HSDPA, HSUPA. They are they, they only developed the same thing. They are developing with 4G also. The 3G is the uh, ideology with the LTE also, okay. So what are the bandwidths allocated for uh, different countries? It is available uh, in this uh, Qualcomm. Uh, uh, luckily mentioned India also uh, because uh, India is a leading distributor of 4G. 
okay uh, so in india if you are considering means lt is used with 2300 because it's allocated to the lt with 700 mahz 850 mahz 900 mahz and 2200 mahz and 2300 mahz even though nowadays it is used with 2300 mahz only okay so lt tdd time time division duplex okay so lt tdd with the 2300 frequency mahz frequency is used other countries also i have addressed here okay so next uh, uh, i already explored uh, because licensed and unlicensed means uh, I told him that in the, uh, I told her like a uh, Wi-Fi can also be manipulated with the LTE. That is a concept also here also explained. L LTE can elaborately work on the licensed spectrum also like three up to 3.8 gigahertz of frequency also. Likewise, it can work with 5 gigahertz frequency also like uh, Wi-Fi also. So this makes the Uh, this makes the carrier aggregation uh, to data rate enhancement for the mobile phone okay so tdd fdd like uh, time division two plus and uh, tdd what the difference i'm sure i've shown tdd is a time sort of like a receiver transmission or both the data bits will be communicating in a single spectrum and uh, with a different time slot allocation if you are considering fdd and uh, different different frequency spectrum will be allocated fdd fdd may make the high data rate communication if you are comparing with TDD, okay, so it is enhanced communication. So advancement will be that like okay. So next is MIMO beam forming. Okay, MIMO beam forming. I already spoke about MIMO beam forming last session also. Like MIMO is a multiple input, multiple output beam forming technology, which is making the multiple device to be con connected with them a, a single Wi-Fi or any base station antennas with the beam forming ideology. Why is why is the beam forming is a pro I need needed on means you can send uh, consider like a in a uh, other technologies in a uh, old technology in 3g and 2g and all if you are seeing means uh, uh, cell to cell if you are moving out means what will happen so one cannot be communicating with the at the end of the cell okay so automatically the signal will disconnect again it will uh, make a connection on the another cell this is why it is happening because the user cannot be identified where he is available he is traveling in a faster manner the user might be available at the end, the end of cell or the linear way of cell, okay, nearby the base station of cell. It's a problematic situation. This user should be enhanced with the data rate. So beam farming can be utilized. So beam farming, what it will do means the user is moving in a faster manner. You consider the mobile phone, like a mobile phone is available in the slide, okay. Just consider he is moving in a faster manner also. If he is going out of the region also, the particular base station will try to elongate the signal towards a mobile phone. So what will happen? The particular mobile phone will get the maximum signal as as, as possible. Okay, but at the end, if it is moving out of the cell also, what is the opportunities can be provided? Mean it can be sent to the another base station nearby. So what will happen? The base station of the original base station, what it is identified and it is already available base station will identify where it is available and it will manipulate the information to the another base station also, which makes the user to be uh, movable and. Uh, where he is moving and can estimate and it can track it down okay that is the concept of beam forming okay so next is uh, importance of beam forming i already spoke to this one uh, which is having a when you are placing a base station uh, with wi-fi it won't be a reachable one uh, beam forming will reach with a particular device okay so this is available in the wi-fi the 802.11 uh, ieee uh, ieee standards okay that has been managed and simo ciso and miso mimo so each are different uh, antenna topologies has been explained okay like terminologies like uh, how the antenna can be placed like one to one communication and one to multiple communication uh, what is the difference you can ask okay what is uh, the application difference between simo and ciso we can use majorly with mimo now why we are going with simo miso and all we can directly go into mimo now or we can use ciso now uh, what is the thing means uh, the MIMO and uh, MIMO uh, should be used based on the requirements. Okay, so if you are using a, a base station, you can use a multiple output antennas. Okay, but all the mobile phones are not needed with multiple output antennas. Okay, because whatever the mobile phone antennas are available, also it can't be transmitting or receiving a signal to the particular base station that much distance. If you are considering Wi Fi, means it can have multiple antennas because if you have a mobile phone it will be nearby the wi-fi range 
So you can place a multiple antenna in the mobile phone. So Wi-Fi also can have a multiple antenna. Your mobile phone also will have multiple antenna. So multiple data transmission can happen in a clear manner. So that is a thing you have to consider. You, last time also asked one person asked uh, why we have to use different different topologies. So we can use a best topology now. So why we are using confusing. So but the problem is here only base station should have a memo. What are the it is Wi-Fi based receiver uh, by Wi-Fi base always uh, it is a uh, uh, original base station for mobile non networks like 4G, 3G also it should have. But our mobile phones should have the capability and to receive with the multiple antras and single antras based on the various situation that should be considered. Okay, that is the ideology you have to think. Okay, so here that will only explain. So we are considering 2G, 2, 2 antenna, 4 antenna, 8 antenna. What's the data rate and DB can be understandably reached that has been explained here. Okay. So, which is available with the 4D, uh, like if you can say 2, 2, 2 antenna configuration, you can reach up to uh, 4 dB date power, okay? Like, uh, it's like a 4, 4 bits per second, it can reach, okay? So, likewise, if you are considering 2G, 4, like 4 antenna, 8 antenna, all are having this different, different configuration, which is making the 6 bits at the MIMO stage, with 6 bits, 10 bits, 17 bits up to we can reach. Okay, while using the 8 by antenna, we will be having the multiple channels like 8 by 8 antenna and consider. 8 multiplied by 8, 64 channels will be created. So, the 64 channels will make a 17 bits per second at a time. So, this is a concept behind the uh, uh, multiple antenna configuration. Okay, so why multiple antenna configuration going to deploy, should be deployed, should the requirement of research. Uh, uh, all the things we want to analyze so that only I'm, I have placed this slide and what is the data rate manipulation have been done with the memo and uh, this is another uh, we, we have captured this information uh, with our uh, uh, works okay we have already done this work and we have captured this information that only we have placed in slide also uh, so next is CRN uh, so CRN I have to tell with a real time example why CRN is required Okay, that is 5G. I uh, already been forming upon technology of 5G. CRN, we are having another session in future also. But I will explain why CRN is required. Okay, CRN um, is required for uh, specialized for uh, 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 you can consider a, a flood in Chennai. Okay, uh, uh, it happened in 2015. Okay. So what happened in that time? We can't be able to communicate. Okay, uh, if you are considering Chennai flood, uh, I have been the Chennai only on the city at the time. So, so on that situation, if you are seeing means we can't be able to make a communication. All communication has been disturbed and stopped for up to two to three days. No communication can be happened because the power cut is done. Due to power cut, the base station can't be able to back up the power. Because the base station in real time, what a scenario means uh, a, a base station can't be able to work beyond eight hours. Okay, uh, you just consider if you are having a flood situation mm -hmm. or a calamities like a, uh, earthquakes, whatever happen. If power cut happened at six o'clock of the morning, means after two o'clock there won't be a mobile communication happening. That will happen. Damn sure you can you can consider this as a warning also. So. Uh, whatever issues are happening, so pl be planned on the situation. Whenever the power cut is happening, it is uh, normally if you are having a one day power cut also, the antenna base station back can withstand up to eight hours only. Okay, within eight hours, they have to shift the power in a separate source, otherwise, the base station will shut down surely. Okay, so that is a problematic area. Okay, so in this situation, uh, if you are considering this is all happening with 2G, okay. But there is a wide space happening in the 3G, 4G, 1G, like mobile antennas, what GPS, and different frequencies have been deployed, and all the frequencies have been not utilized. Because if you are considering 2G frequency 900 MHz, these 900 MHz base stations are shut down. What is happening in the Chennai situation, flood situation also. So in Chennai flood situation also the same thing happened. <coughs> so you, you can't be able to receive the signal on that period. Okay. So 
so on the situation but if you are considering 3g 4g other frequency bands it is available okay it is worth to use <coughs> but we didn't use okay so on the situation if crn is deployed on this situation means you can use all the frequency bands okay that is a major ideology of crn crn is like a 5g artificial intelligence what is happening in the computer systems also uh, computer systems the same can be deployed in the uh, um, communication systems also that is the ideology whenever the frequency slots are free it can be identified and can be predicted <coughs> and automatically we can make a automatic communication between devices that is the concept so you, you might done with that one also like uh, when the particular uh, 2g based systems are shut down you may may have made the call with whatsapp okay like whatsapp you will make a call to a user okay so that what is happening here now the wi-fi is the communication medium so in future these responsibilities will be taken by the crn okay this responsibility will be taken by crn what will happen means the crn will make sure you will be connected okay so this is spectrum allocation of united states regulations why i have shown this means uh, the 3 gigahertz fully deployed with the united states regulation what we are using also in india also so these regulations only will be uh, uh, spectrum allocations uh, have been done with the uh, different uh, majorly with the united states only all the countries are following russian standards more or not followed so these standards you are seeing also uh, the spectrum allocation all the spectrums has been allocated okay so that is a problem spectrum is not available spectrum scarcity is the problem exactly so uh, cloud network uh, so specify this is the ideology it can cognitively think okay it can think and make a decision okay so whenever a spectrum base station multiple spectrum base stations are there if a user is a particular base station is having a free space or a particular frequency is free so it can make a signal to call with the another base station it can connect with the another device okay so we will be seeing this cognitive networks in the upcoming seminar clearly okay i will explain you in elaborate manner um, so i will explain how is the research paper also okay, what is happening in the research paper and how it is uh, uh, fine tuned and uh, uh, how uh, we are reaching a bigger solution with this uh, crn because crn uh, is the future major solution uh, 5g okay okay here the spectrum scarcity uh, and uh, spectrum uh, free not in usage in a particular time period also is shown so on that period how a, a particular uh, uh, user can be used in using the another frequency is uh, is uh, shown here like a, in a particular cognitive networks it will be having a primary user and secondary user a primary user is a user who is paid user for the particular network if i am using a 2g network i am paying for your uh, airtel you are if i am available in the airtel you consider so i am paying the airtel so i am paying the airtel means i am a primary user for the airtel okay so when if you are if another user is coming you can just consider like uh, um, he is from some other another x network okay so that x network he is coming to the airtel network you consider okay this x network is coming to the airtel network means he can't able to deploy a signal immediately he have to request uh, whether a spectrum signal is available or not so he is a secondary user so the secondary user have to wait with the primary user to identify signal is available or not with the signal specification it can make the communication okay so this is a concept of counter networks okay so spectrum usage in car and radio what how the spectrum usage can be done and conventional radio what is the problem have been specified here comparison so counter radio makes a smooth and spectrum allocation and uh, usability of the spectrum in higher manner okay so cooperative and us what we have spoken in the memo same uh, Allocation and exploitation of uh, country networks, uh, how it can be done, is uh, shown. If you are seeing this one, I uh, use unlicensed user, second uh, base station one, base station two user. One counter radio user can move on to the unlicensed spectrum and can receive the signal with the requisition with the unlicensed, unlicensed spectrum base station. Okay, and get the allocation with the spectrum. Okay, data. So with that allocation, it can receive the information. That is the concept of these networks. Okay. <coughs> Okay, this is the end of slide. I will go with the demonstration. Um, uh, uh, I will be showing the country networks demonstration only. But uh, uh, here the water filling algorithm is done. Mm -hmm. Here we are not going to identify 
ఫర్ స్పెక్ట్రమ్ అల్లకేషన్ అంట ఓకే టుడే వీఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ దట్ వన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు అనలైజ్ హౌ ద కౌంటెడ్ యువర్ పవర్ ఎనాలిసిస్ ది యూజర్ డేటా రైట్స్ ఫర్ ఎ ప్రైమరీ యూజర్ అండ్ సెకండ్ యూజర్ ఇన్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఇన్ అండ్ దట్ నెక్స్ట్ సెమినార్ అంట వీడ్ బి వెబినార్ అంట వీడ్ బి హ్యావింగ్ అన్సెషన్ అబౌట్ హౌ ది కౌంటెడ్ యూ స్పెక్ట్రమ్ అల్లకేటింగ్ అండ్ హార్ డ్యూ టు స్పెక్ట్రమ్ అల్లకేషన్ హౌ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఇంప్రూవ్ ఇన్ డేటా రైట్ అంట విల్ బి కన్సిడరింగ్ అండ్ అనలైజింగ్ సో జస్ట్ ఓపెనింగ్ ద మ్యాట్ లాబ్ okay i, I will show i'll explain the program once and i will give the demo session and we will uh, close the session so here i have enhanced with the rally fading channel so the rally fading channel uh, water filling algorithm is provided the rally fading channel is initialized with the multiple carrier 4x4 carrier sub carriers is placed 4x4 sub carriers with uh, 16 sub carriers are being placed so the rotation of number of channel is 4 so 4 multiplied by 4 so 16 carriers overall so these carriers will be initialized to one by one and the primary user radio signals have been placed to the position of a primary user the primary vector position is like a, a primary user and a base station whoever available and secondary user is vector is also placed this vector is randomized it's not a static one why i am not placing a stra- static one means you use mobile users will be in a static manner with that i am allocating the bandwidth and the number of carriers sub carrier number of channel with the number of uh, uh, the bandwidth is allocated with the bandwidth i am going to identify i am going to allocate initialize the environment i am settling okay so environment primary user secondary user radio sub position and all i am settling in a uh, in a graphical manner and after that i am settling this graphical manner of environments uh, i am setting this for a femtosal femtosal means uh, uh, different networks in accumulated in a single network like a uh i consider like a uh, femtosal means uh, initially on a uh, on a uh, uh, 2g base station is there and within that 2g base station another uh, uh, 3g or wifi base station wifi base is there because uh, it will be happening obviously this uh, stations are there means which should be taken as a priority okay that like the con- concept is we created so for that we have created the ga- uh, uh, graphical interface you can ask why you are using a uh, simply with the uh, always simulation with the uh, for the analysis of communication system uh, you can't be able to use ns2 simulators and all uh, why you are not using that now here it is not happening for network connectivity network connectivity is a mapping scenario which is happening between a one node to another node to multiple node configuration is happening here it is not happening with multiple node configuration we are not going to configure a nodes okay Uh, it is happening in the another layer we are the creating of communication and enhancing the data right we are the baseline because while connecting the nodes if you are losing in data and like we are making the latency to be increased means that is another priority it is happening in ns2 here we are analyzing the data rate improvisation with the real time environment what is available okay ns2 they want to consider the real time environment what is happening and all okay so that is the difference between these communication system so here all are based on multiple dimensional fixed data data okay so multi dimension data should be manipulated and it should be received and it should be identified between the multiple receivers how to be manipulated with the multiple application directivity how to receive a data from one node to another node that not should be analysis okay so these things only will be considered so here also i am considering a femtosal and uh, like a multiple femtosals are available i am considering like this four femtosal i have considered uh, i have mapped it and with the multiple primary user and primary user base station and secondary user within the femtosal itself that like i have mapped it so with that i am analyzing whether the distance between the original uh, primary user between the base station and the primary user uh, distance is lesser okay if he is available in the particular base station the spectrum is not allocated you just allocate that that power allocation analysis have been done here okay so with that allocation analysis we have been mapping 
with the channel capacity analysis those these channel capacity will be going to w uh, water filling ideology okay uh, water filling ideology you can go with water filling the so channel capacity channel channel capacity theorem is used so iteratively looping based it will be allocating the data rate when the position is available uh, within the particular uh, channel the data should be allocated so these data rates should be checked whether primary user allocated if a primary user allocated means that data rate will be automatically going on to the secondary user these like it is manipulated to make a secondary user stable with the data rate how to make a secondary user to be data rate data rate availability to make that is a it's happening in the algorithm as a base station so here water filling is a concept so we do the equalizing like 100 now four base secondary user there means automatically all the channels would be allocated to the four uh four bits only is there means one 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 it will be allocating so these these scenario it will be creating so to create so that is the ideology here it's considered okay so just running the code okay uh, actually here this uh, actually i told uh, 16 uh, frequency channel overall so with that if you initially if you are seeing means uh, the channel having some data right so after that the channel some of the channel in the last four cells two cells is not allocated so these cell cells have been allocated with the spectrum channels with the equalization so equalization power entity has been provided to the secondary so these sep the particular channel is not allocated it means the minimal power which is available with the particular four channel four frequency spectrum will be allocated to the another user which is available in the particular cell okay that is the ideology of these uh, uh, crn uh, so here in future i will see uh, again with ground radio network we will be having a depth session uh, we will be having spectrum allocation and power uh, power allocation uh, what are the different power allocation theorems have been uh, analyzed and all will be analyzed in future so uh, stay tuned um, uh, uh, now for five minutes uh, i'll be having a session of uh, uh, question and answer you can ask your questions in your uh, youtube uh, comment section i can answer you You can ask your questions. Why cyclic prefix is needed? Uh, cyclic prefix is mandatory for a uh, guard interval. If you are considering guard interval, uh, um, uh, when your cyclic prefix is placed, uh, uh, we can manipulate it because uh, the guard interval uh, should be eliminated. If your signal is delayed, you consider. Uh, if you are uh, speaking high, it is receiving the high blood pressure delayed manner. But it should be synchronized then only he can hear the high in a proper manner so the guard interval will manipulate with the cyclic to the cyclic with the eye will be placed over the front so what will happen this eye will be noisy if it receive delay also i will be the problematic i can remove the eye whatever it happens it is delayed also it is reaching faster also i will remove the eye so it will make the uh, signal to receive properly uh, i hope i answered with your honest question Uh, and Tarun M. Nair, the same cyclic prefix. Uh, uh, I'm telling that high information is same. Uh, when will 5G is available in India? Uh, uh, I am also expecting. Actually, Jio is ready to make available uh, 5G ready, but uh, Airtel is uh, not uh, uh, supporting for the government release 
because already Airtel and uh, Vodafone is struggling because Vodafone is trying to close the sorry uh, kidding answer but why Vodafone is already having issues so so they are not allowing Jio uh, uh, to be uh, to make the market so it might be delayed but uh, 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 we can expect some good news after COVID-19 5G is like a spectrum allocation and network speed enhancement both are there but the spectrum allocation is a major ideology because multi-device communication topology ideology should be maintained so that is called 5G's major ideology so counter radio speaks that only so we will see the counter radio in elaborate ok uh, memo antennas multiple antennas we can uh, improvise uh, whatever the count, count of antennas uh, she can route but uh, the problem with uh, Vimo antennas increment, uh, we have to um, ch allocate a channel and we have to multiple channel will make uh, multiple noise also, noise cancellation techniques and all. Uh, the receiver should be enhanced. That is the problem with Mazi Mimo and all. Okay. Mimo, Mazi Mimo and all, all the things. Uh, nowadays, machine learning is deployed in the Mimo. Uh, neural networks have been deployed some of the papers I have seen uh, but uh, uh, you can go through with uh, IT play I think so what are the five safety consideration of 5G technology uh, Madhuri Ki has asked uh, there is no safety consideration uh, 5G will make uh, uh, surely 5G will place uh, Pico cells I already spoke it's because else they will place a cell uh, antenna dish antenna in your building uh, itself okay because uh, we all need uh, uh, high data right so if it is not safety also uh, there is no safety considerations first of all uh, uh, they won't consider any safety uh, uh, it can be uh, eliminate uh, but uh, it's a mandatory thing that's requirements are happening with the users also so they will surely fix it okay there is no safety consideration I think so I didn't go on through it much but uh, if the safety is not there also we will require it uh, why FFT is done uh, obviously IFFT is done the transmitter side so reply will be the FFT ok so minus 4 liter and fast for return is done uh, if your reply will be FFT only ok so that's one Beamforming is not same like uh, handoff. Beamforming is uh, user based data transmission. It might happen in the uh, uh, Wi Fi also, it might happen in the base station with the 2G, 3G connectivity also. You can do beamforming. Okay. Beamforming is not uh, a fixed one. Okay. So it is not for only handoff. IG mobile phones price will be more only initially while marketing whatever if you are buying a TV also while smart TVs came it came with 2 lakhs nowadays it is in a 10,000 you can buy it as smart TV like this mobile phones also 5G mobile phones also will be high rate only 5G spectrum allocation and all there is no related to between mobile phone and spectrum allocation spectrum allocation is done with the government regulations mobile phone is done with a separate uh, companies like Xiaomi me and all. there is no relativity between 5G mobile phone price and the 5G spectrum okay just don't consider to don't interlate okay hope I answered all the questions uh, last time Tarun Nair asked about uh, uh, VX works uh, VX works uh, he only asked I think so uh, so uh, VX works, uh, we, we can't be able to use VX works for analysis of the uh, uh, communications uh, with the previous like uh, optical actually uh, on the day we are discussing with the underwater communication underwater VX works we can simulate the hardware what is happening in the hardware okay VX works we can interrelate with MATLAB also but what we spoken last time is it's about data rate enhancement there is a, we are not speaking about hardware enhancement okay so what we are speaking is simulation over in it, uh, data rate analysis. So VX works, you can't able to estimate VX works for uh, uh, simula simulation analysis. You can estimate for uh, hardware analysis. Okay. 
uh, last time I got the question I am answering okay uh, power consumption will be reduced in 5g or not another question I got uh, power consumption uh, it won't be reduced it might be it will be increased because because it's gonna be placed you know oh, each and every uh, house will have because also okay in your home also they will place a antenna in future okay so don't uh, uh, so power consumption will be increased okay surely so uh, it will be high vibration area okay it will be so finally okay i have answered all the questions i think so uh, make subscribe our channel uh, uh, hope you got my much information uh, we are having sessions on uh, counter network again say same as like 5g only and uh, we will be elaborately seeing about the five uh, counter network some papers also we i have planned to uh, make or uh, to analyze so uh, join me by upcoming days uh, and uh, subscribe our channel uh, if you have any uh, ideologies any requirements and all uh, you can contact us also I'll show my our uh, website. Uh, before that, I'll show the DMA College website also. So this is the DMA College website. So DMA College is uh, great as the NBA and uh, approved by ICT, and uh, you can get our information also from fantakelearning.com so what we had doing the website is under development only but uh, you can get more information what are the webinars are going and likewise uh, what are the internships also going paid in some paid internships also available so with that what is happening also we, we will be having elaborated courses for individual customers uh, we can make a one-to-one -one action symbol so we having a, a Ex externally project support team also so you can get discussed with us uh, with the project support and all if you need also so uh, thank you uh, please subscribe our channel thank you thank you for uh, participating uh, in this webinar